Thousands of commercial aircraft have been built and delivered to customers worldwide. But which aircraft are the most produced? With our top 10 list, we will look at the most produced passenger or commercial aircraft in history. Number 10 on the list for the top 10 most produced passenger aircraft in history is the Embraer ERJ family. The ERJ family is a series of twin-engine jet-powered regional jets produced by the Brazilian aerospace company Embraer. The family includes the ERJ-135, the ERJ-140, and the ERJ-145 for passenger jets, as well as numerous variants. It entered service in 1997 along with various other operators throughout the Americas, being particularly popular on high-demand regional routes. A total of 1,231 aircraft were produced between 1992 and 2020. The ninth most produced passenger aircraft is the Boeing 767, which is developed and manufactured by Boeing Commercial Airplanes. This American wide-body aircraft entered service in 8 September 1982 with United Airlines. It may not be Boeing's best-selling wide-body, but it has had a long life on the production line. 742 of these aircraft were in service, with Delta Airlines having the largest fleet with 77 aircraft. As of September 2022, Boeing had received 1,373 orders from 74 customers, 1,259 of which had been delivered, with the remaining orders for cargo planes. The eighth most produced passenger aircraft in the world today is the White Body A330, which entered service in 17 January 1994 with Air Inter. The A330's wide fuselage cross section ensures that passengers have plenty of personal space, with wider seats, and the airspace cabin providing a high level of comfort and relaxation on even the longest flights. It quickly outsold many older aircraft from well known manufacturers. So far, 1,527 A330s have been delivered as of December 2021. The aircraft has further upgraded to A330neo with new engine. At number 7, we have the Boeing 747, which was designed and manufactured by Boeing Commercial Airplanes in the United States. It entered service in January 22, 1970. The 747 is a large, long-range wide-body airliner, and its wings have a high sweep wing angle of 37.5 degrees for a fast, effective cruise speed of Mach 0.84 to 0.88. The sweep also reduces the wingspan, allowing the 747 to use existing hangars. The 747 remained popular for five decades, with numerous variants developed. 1,572 aircraft had been built by October 2022, and after a 54-year run, production of the 747 ended in 2022. The sixth most produced passenger aircraft in the world is the Embraer E-Jet family, which was designed and produced by the Brazilian aerospace manufacturer Embraer. This family is a series of four abreast narrow-body, short- to medium-range twin-engine jet airliners. The E-Jet series has been a commercial success owing to its ability to serve low-demand routes efficiently while providing many of the same amenities and features as larger jets. Initial teething issues, including hydraulic and engine-specific ones, were quickly overcome, and Embraer rapidly expanded its product support division for better global coverage. As of 30th June 2022, a total of 1,633 had been produced. The Boeing 777, the world's largest twin jet, is ranked fifth among the top 10 most produced passenger aircraft in history. This aircraft, also known as the 777, is a long-range wide-body airliner designed and built by Boeing Commercial Airplanes. More than 60 customers had placed orders for 2,136 aircraft of all variants with 1,696 delivered as of September 2022, making the 777 the most ordered and delivered wide-body airliner. The most common and successful variant is the 777-300ER with 838 aircraft ordered and 832 delivered. Up next at number 4 is the Boeing 727. 
This is an American narrow-body airliner which entered service in 1st February 1964 with Eastern Airlines. This airliner was sold well to airlines all over the world. In the U.S. in particular, the fleet was sizable, with operators including Delta Airlines, Pacific Southwest, Braniff and Pan Am. There were 38 Boeing 727s in commercial service as of February 2022. Production ended in September 1984 with 1,832 units produced. The 727 was the most produced jet until the 1990s, when it was surpassed by the Boeing 737. At number 3 is the Bombardier CRJ or CRJ series. This is a family of regional jets introduced in 1991 by Bombardier Aerospace. The first generation was introduced in 1991, followed by the second generation in 1999. Over the years, it has become a staple of the regional transportation world, operated by the likes of Delta Connection, Endeavour Air, and Air France subsidiary HOP. Bombardier claims it is the most successful family of regional jets in the world. Production ended in December 2020 after 1,945 were built. At number 2 is the Airbus A320 family. This is a series of narrow-body airliners developed and produced by Airbus. The A320 was introduced in April 1988 by Air France, and American Airlines is the largest A320 operator with 459 airplanes in its fleet. The A320 family surpassed the Boeing 737 to become the best-selling airliner in October 2019. As of October 31, 2022, a total of 10,563 aircraft have been delivered, with 9,824 aircraft in service with over 340 operators. Since its introduction, the global A320 fleet has completed over 157 million flights in 289 million block hours. And now at the number one spot, we have the Boeing 737 family. This is a narrow-body aircraft produced by Boeing that entered service in February 10, 1968 with Lufthansa. It is the most successful airliner lineage in the world. The family consists of three generations of aircraft. The earliest was the Boeing 737 original, followed by the Boeing 737 Classic Series and the Boeing 737 Next Generation. As of September 2022, 15,348 Boeing 737s had been ordered, with 11,154 having been delivered. Initially, its main competitor was the McDonnell Douglas DC-9. Since its introduction, the global 737 fleet has completed over 184 million flights in 264 million block hours. The Boeing 737 has sold so many units in its half-century history that it is now listed in the Guinness Book of World Records. It was the best-selling commercial aircraft until it was surpassed by the rival Airbus A320 family in October 2019, but it still holds the record for total deliveries. And with this, The Buzz is signing off for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.